well, super bright. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's pretty obnoxious. The beach is for everybody. Some locals want the city of Vancouver to remove a motion-activated spotlight installed by a Point Grey homeowner, since the light blasts its beam onto a public beach by Volunteer Park. Residents like Keenan Skelly want the light removed. And we expected to have the same experience as we usually do, and we were kind of blinded immediately as we came down. Our reporter David Zura looked into the light Friday night. It looks like that is the light right over there. It's off at the moment. And there it is. Well, it certainly is a very bright light. The property owner declined an interview with David on Friday, but I tried to get in touch with them on Saturday afternoon. Head back to the property now. I'm just going to try to give the owners a shout here, see if they're available. Hello? Hey there, this is Kier Junos from City News Vancouver and News 1130. We uh, got your guys' email to uh, our newsroom. The property owner refuses to go on camera or be recorded, but he lets me through the gate and we talk off camera. He shows me security footage depicting groups of young people climbing over his fence, drinking, smoking, and lighting bonfires. In the past few weeks, the owner says he's seen three separate trespassing incidents and numerous incidents of vandalism. He alleges that Keen and Skelly's friends have been among the groups he's seen on the beach behind the property. I, I'm not the representative for my friends. Uh, that's that's uh, something a matter between them and my friends. I don't think they. I don't know of any of my friends have done anything. But I don't. I'm not responsible for my friends' actions. Uh, and uh, if they think somebody's trespassing, they should call the police. The city of Vancouver has told the property owner that while these incidents are bylaw infractions, they don't have officers working at night and the early morning to deal with violators. That said, Councillor Pete Fry suggested on Twitter that the spotlight installation itself may constitute a bylaw violation. The property owner says he expects Councillor Fry will do his due diligence and recognize the dozens of complaints about bonfires, drinking, smoking, and loud music around Volunteer Park. And the owner adds that ever since he had the light installed, he's seen fewer incidents in the last five months. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.